Hello everybody, welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be talking about how Games Workshop themselves just debunked the crap out of the Amazon movie deal. Yes, that is right. I have woke up. I look absolutely terrible. I have just made myself a nice hot beverage and I've woken up to some amazing news. Games Workshop officially announcing that the Amazon TV show film deal with Henry Cavill has officially been signed and that means they are now moving ahead. But before I all go into that, if you want to know what the rumours were that are not even a week old, you can check out that video up there and uh, you can watch that and it'll be quite amusing. It's literally two videos back. Um, yeah, it's it. we all knew that was horse poop. Um, so yeah, this is really cool news. So what I'm going to do is we're going to jump in and we're going to have a little look at the announcement and see what they have to say. And then we can speculate and fan over how cool this is going to be. Step over Marvel, the time of Warhammer Cinematic Universe has just begun. So here it is, Warhammer's contract signed. The news every Warhammer fan has been waiting for. That is right, it has been signed. So back in December last year, we announced Games Workshop and Amazon Studios had signed an agreement in principle to work together to bring the Warhammer 40K universe to the screens, big and small. Ooh. Well, today we have an update, and it's one we've all been waiting longingly to hear. We have now signed the full agreement, and the next stage can begin. Ooh, nice picture. Now comes the fun part, working out all the creative details with our partners and getting the scripts, first scripts written and into production. What Warhammer 40k series should we tell first? Should we kick it off with a movie or a TV show or both? All we can tell you right now is that an elite band of screenwriters, each with their own particular passion for Warhammer, has been assembled to bring the setting and characters you love to screen. This illustrious group will be championed by one other, Mr. I Am The God Emperor, Henry Cavill, and stands ready to take his place as executive producer, bringing his pen, sword, and or spear to the project. Is that a hint? TV and film production is a mammoth undertaking. It's an unusual project for us to take. And it's not unusual for projects to take two or three years from this point before something arrives on screen. Still, things are now in proper rolling and you can bet we'll bring you all the latest updates and cool snippets as soon as we're able. So that is it. That is, that is, that, that's the announcement. It's happening. It's, it's coming. It's, Yes, it is. It, it's coming. So, what, is, what have they told us? Well, well, not much really, other than they've signed the deal and they're now moving forward to the whole creative side. Which is kind of what I said in my last video, that they're probably still negotiating uh, on the actual how this is going to work. And that that part hasn't even started yet, which is kind of good. So... It's really good news that they've mentioned Henry. Henry being executive producer. I believe Andy Smiley, who is the head of the Storyforge team for Warhammer Plus, is also an executive producer, which means that Games Workshop are going to be heavily involved in this, um, which is good for obvious reasons, because, you know, Amazon, they did the Rings of Power, and if you're a Tolkien fan and a lot of Rings fan, you probably weren't overly impressed with that show. But Games Workshop are embedded in this, and they are involved. So, it's going to be really cool. Um, Warhammer TV, Warhammer Movie, like, what is it going to be? Well, let's start speculating, let's start wishlisting. Personally, for me, I would like to see them not do Space Marines. I am a Space Marine fanboy. I love my Space Marines. Uh, so, you know, it's hard to say that, but... I think things like the Horus Heresy and, and, and stuff like that is just way, way too big. Um, that kind of would need a huge budget and a massive, massive production to be able to condense that down into sort of three movies. Uh, because the scale of the story is just so big. I mean, you're talking, what, 50 regular novels and about eight 
um, Siege of Terror novels, and that's not including the novellas. So it's, it's a massive story. So I don't think the Horus Heresy would be the story that they started. I can honestly see this being something like Eisenhorn. Um, the Eisenhorn trilogy is quite good, although it is a little bit dated in regards to the modern law. So it would kind of need to be refreshed a bit. Um, maybe something guard-centric. I mean, The Gaunt's Ghosts is a perfect set of books to bring and adapt to the screen. I mean, you have a really good cast of characters. It is really, really well written. I am only just started reading the first Omnibus right now and absolutely loving it. And as a veteran who who was in who was in the military for a long time, um, The Gaunt's Ghost is actually a really, really good book. It, it really sort of encaptures my imagination and my lived experiences as being a frontline soldier. Um, so it's it's really cool. Uh, so yeah, that would be really good. Um, there are other stories that they could do, like the Word Bearers on the bus, the Night Lords, the Soul Drinkers, are really, really good stories. But again, they're Marine-centric, and I think Marines need to be there as a real sort of, like, wow-type moment. Like, all hell could, like, be break loose. But we can only speculate of what we'd like to see at this stage. So there's no real point of going into how you would do put Space Marines into it. Um, I've got a lot of faith that this is going to be done really well. I've got a lot of faith in Henry. He is a massive nerd like all of us uh, and loves Warhammer like the rest of us. And I do believe that he will do this right and will make sure that this is done right. And I imagine his experiences on the Witcher show will transfer into doing this. He is the executive producer. He is the showrunner for this. So this is his baby. Um, he gets to do it his way. Um, and I think he firmly believes in Games Workshop's IP and will allow that to come through. And I, I'm really excited to see what he does. Um, I'm just really cool. It, I think next year is going to be an interesting year because at some point next year, we will probably get a logo and a synopsis of what the show is going to be, like an official announcement. Um, but you can expect this in probably what... 2026 2027 um the really cool thing is what platforms it going to be on like obviously it's going to be on amazon prime but is it also going to be on warhammer plus like it would be really cool and if it is on warhammer plus what are those ad exclusive miniatures going to be like what exclusive miniatures are games workshop going to make off the back of this like what like there is so much cool stuff that this is essentially going to open up. It's, it's amazing. So it's time to get excited. Um, this is really, really good news. And this is amazing news for the hobby. This is now going to make the hobby more mainstream. It's going to make it bigger. It's going to make it out there. And if they do this right, this is the next thing. This is the next Marvel. This 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 could be a thing that we, we look forward to all the time. And it's a crazy to think that 30 years ago when I was a kid... And I was looking at White Dwarf and Rogue Trader Space Marines. I never imagined that I would be seeing a point in my life where I'm actually going to see a big budget production from a studio like Amazon and Games Workshop working together to create a sure film about something that is so amazing and has been a big part of my life. It's, it's really cool. Um, and we have had, they have had done this before, like, let's not forget the Ultramarine the movie. Uh, I do like the Ultramarine the movie, it was actually quite good. Uh, so if you haven't watched it, you should, should really check it out. So, some really cool times ahead. Uh, as for the channel, anything that I hear or announce, um, I will cover uh, here on the channel. Um, and when it finally does come out, I will do videos on it, a review of the episodes slash film and uh, my thoughts and lore and all that kind of stuff. You know, kind of how, how they do for the Game of Thrones and stuff. I will do that here for the Warhammer TV show. So, yeah, I am super excited. I am going to drink my brew now uh, and I'm going to wake up fully and I'm just going to giddy and paint and nerd out over the fact that we are getting this 
And uh, yeah, so the rumors were wrong. <laughs> Shock. And I will catch you all in the next one. So if you like what I do, please subscribe to that channel. Uh, like my videos, drop me a comment and check out my members area. And you can also join and uh, get your name up alongside Mrs. Pointy. And I will see you all in the next video, everyone. Goodbye for now.